Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Google Certified Innovator and Trainer. This video is about using animated GIFs as your course image in Google Classroom. You can see I've set this up here with an animated GIF I just found on Google. So let me show you how you would go about doing this. So if you go to Google, you type in a search and for now we'll just go with animated GIF, but you can make these yourself as well. So I'll do that and then I will go to tools and, or excuse me, I go to images first, click on images, of course, go to tools and then go to size and you can get an exact, or we can do, you know what, we can do larger than, we can either do larger than 800 by 600, 800 by 200 is the minimum. So we could try that. I'm gonna try the 800 by 200 exact. And by the way, did you know you could do that as far as image search in Google, you can set your dimensions. So if I go here, I like this one. This is an animated GIF of rain. So if I open that up, I actually get it right here. I'll save my image. I'll hit save. And there it is. And so now let me go to another class. Let me upload a photo. And there it is. I click upload. And there it is. And by the way, you notice I have a nice rainstorm. So that's pretty cool. Imagine if you're teaching about the water cycle, both of these for the water cycle would be pretty good images. There's another way to do this that I really like, which would be to get it from YouTube using the GIFit extension. This is a really cool tool. So get your video up. You click on GIFit. If I click it, I set my exact times. I'll set my width. Now, if you set it to 800 like that, like so, it won't let you go 800 by 200, but that's fine. It will go bigger than 200. You can actually make the quality a lot more than I have right now. I'm gonna go with this just because I want it to download quickly. If I hit GIF it, and by the way, if you make YouTube videos yourself to teach your kids, you can then have yourself in a YouTube video and I'll hit save GIF and there it is. And so now let's see if we can put that as the image. So we go to upload photo. We go to drag a photo here. I got that GIF, I hit this. And now there's my cat and me in motion as the animated yeah. GIF. And so I, that's a way to make animated GIFs as your image for your class in Google Classroom. Think about our students today do animated GIFs reach them? I think they kind of do. I think it's those little things that reach our students um, like that. So if you have any questions about this, comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.